AGM. And you will be happy to note that at the AGM just now, our proposal for no increases in membership fees was approved. <laughs> the association has always been a big family for the shipping sector in Hong Kong. A community that supports each other through good times and bad, with shared values and a common purpose. In the past year, we hosted a great variety of events, activities and projects, with wide participation and very good feedback. On behalf of all of the association members, I would like to sincerely thank my predecessor, Mr. Jack Soon, for his hard work and generous donations Under his excellent leadership, the association has demonstrated its can-do spirit to its fullest. Thank you, Jack. No doubt 2019 has been a most challenging year for shipping, not least for the Hong Kong maritime sector. The US-China trade war has continued, coupled with the imminent imposition of the global sulfur cap and the social crisis that the local community is now facing. We sincerely wish for the unrest to come to an end and for the Hong Kong community to begin a process of healing and reconciliation. Fortunately, given Hong Kong's unique position, the city and the shipping industry here still has many strength opportunities. For the new year, we are planning some new ventures on two fronts in particular. First, we will focus more on the younger generation. Grooming young talent is crucial for the industry, as we are experiencing a period of many unprecedented changes in this new era, driven by innovation and technology. We will be ready for these changes and challenges only if we have the right people with the appropriate skills and experience. So whilst the Hong Kong SOA is not a vocational training institute, we could offer young members platforms and locations to get the right exposure to equip them with the right mindset to shoulder greater responsibilities for the future. And second, we will do more on the China front. Earlier this year, the central government promulgated the Greater Bay Area Outline Development Plan, reaffirming Hong Kong's position as an international finance, shipping and trade center. We must ride on these opportunities to position Hong Kong well in the Hong Kong GBA China World Access in the interest of both our members and the global community. We will continue to give our views to the central government, especially on the formulation of the upcoming national 14th five-year plan and regulatory issues impacting on the maritime industry.